Today we're going to tour a home at Preservation Oaks. It's a Kalem Builders community located in unincorporated Richmond, Illinois. It's right next to Spring Grove. Now Kalem has 42 beautiful lots here. They're all one plus acre in size. And the home we're actually going to tour is a newly completed model called the Pasadena. Kim Myers inside, he's going to show us around. I'd like to welcome you to Preservation Oaks. We're gonna to tour our new model, which is called the Pasadena Two. It's a beautiful new ranch, uh, three bedrooms with split bedrooms, two guest bedrooms on one side of the house, the owner's suite, master suite on the opposite side of the house, even has a flex room and a morning room. Uh, so we'd like to show you around. As we enter the foyer of this house, um, we did a step ceiling with some LED lighting. Uh, it's a nice touch, uh, just gives it a nice airy open feel. Right when you come in the front entrance, there's a flex room on the right hand side. And that can be used either as a dining room like we did in this case, or it can also be used as a home office or den. As we enter the great room, we did something special in this house. We vaulted the entire kitchen and great room together. So we did a very tall ceiling. We added shiplap to the ceiling, as well as uh, some oak beams that are stained to match some of the cabinetry. In the kitchen in this model, we did a long straight island, nine foot plus in length. We also did some towering of the cabinetry with a uh, custom wood hood over the cooktop and uh, some LED lighting as well. On the countertops in all of our KLM homes, we use a stone as a standard inclusion. In this case, we used stone countertops, but we also did a full height stone backsplash. So there's no grout joints, there's nothing to ever maintain. It's just easy wipe and clean. We also did a built-in microwave that's built into the cabinet. All of the cabinet drawers we did are solid wood drawer boxes. They're full extension. They're also soft close. We did a combination color here. We did the lower cabinets in a stain. We did the uppers in a paint finish. And then we used a stain finish on the island as well with an apron front sink. We did a solid porcelain enamel cast iron Kohler, large single bowl and sink that'll hold up forever. We feature a beautiful fireplace in this case. We did a 42 inch wide firebox and this is a direct vent fireplace. So it really is a heating appliance. Not only do you have a great flame pattern but it throws a lot of heat into the room. This, this particular fireplace would heat this whole main level of the house. So it's very energy efficient. And we did a split-faced travertine marble face uh, that gives it a little bit of a rustic touch. In this model, it's an open concept floor plan. So when you're in the family room, of course, that's open to this morning room. On the, some people will use that as a sunroom or like a screen porch almost, but it's heated and cooled just like every room in the house. So it's, it's available 365 days a year, 24 seven. You'll notice on the interior, we did uh, baseboards that are modern farmhouse architecture. They're more square and simpler lines, cleaner lines. Even our crown molding, we did a cove crown molding, which you'll see as you tour. And that also lends itself to a modern farmhouse architecture. In this particular model, we used a wide plank. It's an individual plank floor by Mannington, and it looks exactly like hardwood, but it's actually laminate. And it's a waterproof laminate, so it's unlike hardwood, it's very scratch resistant, uh, so it's much more durable. So anybody with pets or uh, young kids or grandkids, this will hold up extremely well, and it gives you the beauty of a, of a nice, solid wood floor. As we move from the main living area into the owner suite, our master bedroom, we have, uh, we feature a step ceiling in this room. We did a uh, one tier step and then we did a dual crown molding effect. We used a larger cove crown on the perimeter and a smaller cove crown up in the step. We also did a feature wall on the headboard of this particular home where we framed it out with a panel look of one by and, uh, and a semi-gloss finish. Owner's bathroom, the master bath. We did his and hers vanities with under mount cast iron bowls. We did a center tower between the two vanities. That gives you much more storage for uh, medicines, linens, uh, a couple of drawers. But we also finished that where we took our backsplash, which is our stone quartz material. And we did that around the full perimeter of the tower so the water doesn't touch the cabinetry in any way, shape or form. 
We did a beautiful porcelain tile on the floor. This is a very durable surface. It doesn't require any maintenance. In this case, we used a polished finish, so it's got a very nice look. We did that floors and walls, and we did an oversized shower. We also added a seat in the shower, so you got a convenient place to sit if you need to. We use tile baseboards as a standard. This is typically a wetter area in the house, so we like to stay away from the wood baseboards, and so we feature a same tile that we'll put on the floor. We'll, we'll also make and install base of that same material. The toilet's in its own compartmentalized room in this case, and we have a beautiful walk-in closet. Plus a linen closet, a linen cabinet for use in the master bath. On the opposite side of this particular plan, we have two guest bedrooms and a full bath. In the guest bath, we used a porcelain tile also. In this case, the size is uh, something we're seeing more of. We're using two foot by four foot slabs of porcelain tile. So you have fewer grout joints and bigger slabs of tile. It's getting very popular today. And on the walls of this particular bath, we did an accent wall, which is a marble material. And we also built a, a niche in the bathroom for storage of shampoos and soaps. We also have a separate laundry room that uh, is doored so it's, you don't walk through the laundry room upon entrance to the house. It's right off the three-car garage. Uh, we did a beautiful porcelain tile floor. We added some cabinets above the washer and dryer, for the utility sink and folding area. And then we also did a nice bench in the drop zone area, right when you're coming off the garage. And that has a seat where you can sit down and pick, put your shoes on and off. Also some storage cabinets above and below. And then we have a winter coat closet. From the garage, the basement stairwell is straight ahead. And we do an extra wide basement stair. We do a four foot staircase to the basement and width. So no matter what you got size wise, it's a straight in shot from the garage all the way to the full basement. As with all KLM construction, we do all the radius corners on our drywall standard throughout the house. And all of your exterior walls are two by six construction. So we're using R21 bats in all the walls, R50 insulation in all of our attics now. On the Pasadena 2 model, we also did a three-car garage. Uh, we epoxy coated the entire floor. We insulated the garage walls and ceiling. We also use insulated garage doors. So we put a supplemental heater in the garage with a separate thermostat as well, so we can keep the garage any temperature we want. We actually did a split system, which is an air conditioner and a furnace, so we can cool or heat the garage. Nobody could. 